are those voices? My entire life. I'm trapped in here. These stairs. I'm climbing these stairs again. I need to get out. The voices are calling me. dreams again I've had them repeatedly ever since my mother died and left me that music box and her will Harry always said that old family heirloom had something to do with my family's strange disease if the doctors won't give us an answer about your illness I'll search for one myself you said and in that search it seems you lost yourself I don't think I'd ever... Pardon me, madam, but the island is in sight. We'll be lowering the boat in just a minute. Oh, uh, thank you so much, Captain Hodgson. I'll be right out. All right. Time to gather my things. I'd always dreamed of traveling. I was not the same without you, Harry. I received a mysterious package at my house. I... Oh, I'd better cover up my hands before I leave the cabin. I wouldn't want anyone thinking I'm a circus freak. The Amazing Adventures of Nora Everhart, Art Teacher. Oh my, I have the worst memory. I forgot the combination again. Thank goodness I always bring my journal with me to write things down. All right, now it's open. This strange and sharp relic. Harry Everhart, my husband, my partner, and my dear old pal. A brass key with the letters CW engraved on it, and some enigmatic instructions. Harry Ever. I saw this island in one of my unsettling dreams. Okay, Nora. From here on out, you're on your own. Lower the motorboat. Be careful with Mrs. Everhart's equipment, lads. We'll be back to pick you up in three days. I really hope you find your husband there, madam. I hope it too. I'll see you in three days, then. But please be careful on that island. You know what the legends say about it. I'll take care. Thank you, Captain Hudson. Well, here I am. In the middle of the ocean after traveling across half the world. Just 
miles away from where my husband is supposed to be. You left a year ago to search for a cure for my affliction. Your letters kept me close to you, but suddenly they stopped coming. What happened, Opal? What did you find? Whatever it was, it led you to hire a crew and set sail from San Francisco to Tahiti. And from there, to this place. An island in the middle of the Pacific that the locals refuse to even name. Everything is familiar. So familiar. As impossible as that may sound. Is this the island I dreamed about? This, this can't be a coincidence. idyllic island, surrounded by deadly reefs and protected with stakes to keep anybody from entering. Why? There's definitely something strange about this place. if I can find any trace of you around here. I feel quite good. I dare say I might even walk a little faster than usual. Those markings seem to represent the sea. I'll make a note of them in my journal. It might come in handy. but clearly somebody wants to keep outsiders off this island. From what I've read, the Polynesian... Hmm. Something's missing here. Hmm. Something's missing here. Well, that did something. This box. CW. Those are the initials on the brass key. It opens it! So whoever sent me this key was here. Here. Yeah. This is starting to look like a scavenger hunt. Look what's hidden here. The first time I trespass a private property. My childhood in Newburyport wasn't exactly the most thrilling thing. Is that... Harry? Harry! You were here! You were here and I found you, damn it! Where are you now? 
Where is everybody? Where did you and all your crew go? Lady Shannon? That name sounds familiar. I'd better check my journal. Ah, oh, it's been years since I took such a long walk. This fresh air is doing me wonders. What a beautiful mountainous landscape. I can feel the air is denser here in this mangrove swamp. Rays of sunlight shining through. Another symbol. Now that I've crossed half the world, I wouldn't mind crossing the other half. But I have to do it with you, old pal. This sort of pond is a Polynesian fishing technique. There's another symbol inside it. So beautiful. Oh, what were these birds called? Uh, lorikeets. Cole's lorikeets. There are lorikeet feathers scattered around this uni. I'll draw the symbol in my journal. This looks like cargo from an earlier voyage, long before Harry's expedition. A shortcut. That's convenient. Harry said that he would go to the end of the world to find a cure. And by the looks of it, he wasn't lying. We promised we'd never lie to each other from the moment we started dating, no matter how harsh the truth. This reminds me of those slot machines that Harry and I saw at the Atlantic City Pier. But a Polynesian version. The motorboat. It's gone. And I had my luggage in it. All my things. Gone. And the tide was so weak, it couldn't have carried the boat away. What happened here? Still now. 
long have I been walking? I've lost track of the time. Wow, what is this place? I better have a look around this abandoned village. Harry's crew might have stayed here. Tiki, like something straight out of an adventure novel. It's some sort of Polynesian coat of arms. Is that an octopus? Could these tikis be some sort of guardians? Hmm, something's missing inside that emblem. Looks like some of the crew members didn't get along too well. A forbidden ritual? Fascinating. They're composed of four pieces. It's broken, but I might as well draw what I can see of it in my journal. Blowing an ancient hatch with dynamite sounds like a fool's errand to me. This fella sounds pretty hot-headed. This fella sounds... Oh, damn it. Someone on the expedition died. What a delicate piece of craftsmanship. Something's missing here. Farewell message from a friend. I never thought that this expedition would cause anybody's death. Oh, I'm sure Harry never thought so either. If he'd known this was going to happen, he'd never have come here. They use the emblem as a headstone for Roy's grave. This one resembles a shark. He seems confused. I hadn't been close to a grave since my mother's burial. Shortly after she died, my lovely Dalmatian spots, as Harry used to call them, appeared. We thought it was nothing at first. Must have found the luxury huts. Pretty swanky. It's been ripped out of something else. I've seen Harry keep even restaurant checks for bookkeeping. He would never tear up a piece of valuable information.
Got it. You put together quite an expedition, Harry. And all just for little old me. Something's missing here. Jeepers! A stranded ship! The parts of the tiki on this column seem movable. stone is this? I've never seen any substance quite like it. Impressive work. Is that a fish pattern? This appears to be the shrine of a Polynesian chieftain. Wow, really old photo. The island is wearing a lot of tribal ornaments, but none of them seem Polynesian. Black ooze again. Skin alterations. Heavens, he's losing his mind. Cripes, this man was... Whoever took this picture must have a really cool head. Those spots look all too... Is this a picture of my hand? Erythrocytes. Is this stone structure a hatch of some sort? Well then. I'm going down. Come on, Nora. Deep breath. Is somebody whispering? Hello? This eye... Is it calling to me? Another eye. Ah, uh, I hear whispering. I hear it. I'd, I'd better draw it, just in case. Oh, the whispering, it... It stopped. Was I imagining all that? Picks a ritual of some sort. What are they doing to their eyes? How old is this mural? It looks really ancient. Maybe he heard the whispers too. 
Well, this looks like another job by... You were close to something here, Harry. Well, that was easy. This should save some time. I believe this symbol means humble gawker of glamorous indie games. Brilliant. This strange device, Harry. I think I solved it. I wonder what I might be able to see with this lens. I wonder what I might... It fits! What? What on earth is... What is happening? My god, what? What was that that I saw? What were those stars? I saw it. Great Scott! Oh, no. No. 
the well is filling up. That, that's black ooze. Oh, no, no, no. It's happening. Oh, it's happening. I... I'm feeling... faint again. What is this? Where am I? Am I dreaming again? This is different. It isn't my recurring dream. I can't stop walking. My legs aren't responding. Holy Moses, what... what is that creature on the horizon? Wait a moment, I... no, no, no! Ah! I... I can breathe. Underwater. I have to get back. I, I have to find... What is that? What kind of creature is this? I need to get a closer look. Storms, but something or someone seems to be moving there on the reefs. Or is it just my imagination? My God! The ship's hull was ripped open. A few jagged rocks couldn't have caused a gash of this size. gives me the creeps. I can't see any trace of the ship's crew, nor their remains. Knobs must control the vibrations inside this chamber. But we're stranded on this island. Please send help immediately. This is a distress call from the Everhart Expedition. 74 nautical miles east of Tahiti. The Lady Shannon has run aground. It's crew. I better write down those numbers in my journal. I better write down those numbers in my journal.
those beasts that attacked them. At last, some light. That should make things easier. Looks like they took items from a stranded ship. Face. Those footprints definitely do not look human. This picture is taken from a distance. What is he doing? Floating? This sailor is a dead ringer for my grandpa Isaiah. certainly isn't natural, but not man-made either. Uh, this feels ominous. Those symbols seem to indicate the height of the tide. scared of storms. When I was a child, I used to cover myself with the sheets to not listen to the noise of thunder. I honestly doubt I'd like to cover myself with anything in here. Time to overcome my fears, I guess. Some kind of improvised workshop. You made it work, Harry. Now it's my... So this is the reason the ship was... Curious, but it's the first time since I got sick that I feel useful. Harry is depending on me, and not the other way around. 
What odd structure. It doesn't look like a building, though. Might need to be turned on. I hope you didn't borrow this slide projector from the University of Denver, old pal. I think this is the right one. Well, that cartoon was unexpected and inexplicable. I I've never seen Harry so angry. You always did have a good ear, Harry. How can someone build something like this out of stone? Captain Hodgson told me that knowing the lunar cycles is useful for better navigation. A rock stained with black ooze. Looks like the prototype of something. Hmm, these symbols are linked to the piano keys.
My dear old pal, I think I'm getting closer to understanding what is happening to you, but it is taking a toll on my sanity. As fascinating as this island and its ancient and unfathomable wonders may seem, it's also a place plagued with misfortune and calamities. We lost Roy at the campsite. We almost lost our engineer on this beach. The doctor went mad and stabbed him with a strange knife. And all because of this island, Nora. Initially, we were optimistic and in high spirits, but now we've all become resentful and discouraged. Even I can feel how I am constantly assaulted by dark thoughts. Anyway, if what I am going through here helps me find you a cure, it'll have been worth it. I hope to find an answer in the temple on that mountain peak. Love you always, Harry. My poor Harry. He is worried, exhausted, disheartened. I will find you, my love. Let's see what the next one does. That was quite a hike. I'm at the top of the mountain. I can see that giant diamond-shaped thing really close from here. Took me a while to get here, but the views are worth it. These drops of rain are so refreshing. It feels really good. Are these figures singing like a choir? All this? Just with pieces from the beached ship? Frank sure must be a real whiz. They built loudspeakers on top of this tower to reproduce the effect of the organ. Nakal? So this is like it, Lon. Harry is convinced the answer to... His low spirits are obvious in this photo. What was wrong with Frank?
Oh, no. Frank died. Oh, Frank had a daughter named Evangeline. So Frank fought in the Great War. There are some sort of sound devices built around this amphitheater. Heavens, looks like a rock slide crushed all the tents. All but one. There's a symbol inside. So I guess you used the notes from the organ and they weren't the right ones. One, two, one, two, testing. Nope, doesn't work. Baby, hello, my darling. Hello, my ragtime gal. No power. I like singing so much. Harry and I often sang together. When my condition got worse, Harry thought it wasn't a good idea to make unnecessary efforts. Then we stopped singing. I know it. Do these stone columns just vibrate? Amazing! The hatches are opening! Now the wheel is moving.
These levers connect. Huh, that was easy. These buttons seem to adjust the amount of energy that goes through the turbine. That should give the turbine some energy. Great, we did it. Now everything should be powered. What? Did I do something wrong? Come on, work! Come on! Yes. Now what? What's happening this time? that damned thing again. Did I think I was going to die lying in this bed? I'd better find some shade before I dry right up. The horseshoe-shaped pillar and that diamond shape again. I can't take much more of this. I feel woozy. Is that... a house? That's not a house. That's our house in Inglewood. Am I dreaming? Or am I just losing my mind? Don't understand what is happening, Harry. Are you... My mother's music box. Cousin Robert? But I don't have any cousins. A sweet melody. Ah, uh, what 
What was that? Another vivid dream? And my music box again, but it wasn't broken anymore. And what a catchy tune. Song since I got sick, but let's give it a shot. show. This feels like hallowed ground. Are they bathing him in black ooze? His hands are changing like in my dream. Those spots, they look like mine. Now he's some sort of man fish? Fish of every size and shape. This looks like the same kind of elevator that was in the camp. <laughs> These patterns look too familiar. She sounds worried for him, I think. Where is this taking me? Looks like I'm inside the giant fish head that I saw from below. This one was easy, I think. My dear old pal, Nora. I wish I could write something else, but a long time ago I promised you I would never lie to you. So here goes. There is no cure for your illness. What you carry in your blood is changing you. And it will keep changing you until it's done, whatever that means. There is nothing we can do to stop it. My dear old pal, my partner, the love of my life, I am so sorry. I've made so many mistakes. All those deaths because of me. Frank, DeWitt, Roy. All for nothing. Maybe Te Aharo is right. Maybe we can return to the beach and build a raft to get back to Papieti. Maybe in less than a month, I could be back. There's no cure? But... but he didn't finish the letter. What did you do, Harry? Well done, Harry. 
Boy, am I lucky that you did the hard part of figuring things out. This one was really hard to figure out. I'm starting to understand this language. So that's how you mark the symbol's orientation. God's blood. Does... does this mean that... Is this related to me some... I've seen this symbol in the mural several times. I guess it can be applied to both. Harry marked this symbol for a reason. I'd better write it down. Harry threw a bottle against the wall. Was it because he was frustrated for not to a broken liquor bottle? Is this Harry's? Uh, he hates booze. A complex pattern. It's amazing how words and symbols can keep their meaning after thousands of years. It appears Harry didn't advance any further. Those are drums of some sort. for him, so it shouldn't work for me either. Unless there's something different about my hand. Anyway, Nora, you know what you've got to do. <gasps> my hands! Look at my hands! This is definitely not a dream. 
And I'm starting to doubt the others were dreams, too. for me to understand how these gates work. What happens every time I cross one of them? Another panel of this strange technology. What's it for? Something related to the currents? by underground currents. That architecture again. Where is this gate going to lead me now? and must, although they are the same style, these huts are much simpler than the magnificent architecture I've seen up to now. Whoever the inhabitants were, they were living here against their will. Someone vandalized this mural. Some hands look human, but others are amphibian hands. There are some hand marks made with pigments. I wonder if they mean something. I'd better draw them just in case. Is that black? How can I explain what's happening to me? What is the meaning of all this? God's blood, transformation, eternal life. I feel like I'm going through what was written in that inscription. Black blood in eyes, like in the well.
Water animal. Is that what I am now? This civilization used these devices to raise and lower the water level. It's impressive. Underwater town is a beautiful place, but it has also seen a lot of suffering. All the island is that way. Beautiful, but dangerous. The danger does not seem to affect me, though. rebelled against their masters. The slaves seemed to worship two gods. This looks like an altar dedicated to two figures. I can hear them. Isn't this the tiara from... Uh, wait, I... I can't remember the name of my hometown. These creatures are immortal? The sunken continent. Was that their punishment? Types of creatures of the same species lived here, but they weren't free.
illness has kept me from being happy. What I feel now is the complete opposite of being sick. I feel full of life and energy, even better than before my illness. Now the water level is really low, so I can access that tunnel. These creatures lived like slaves. All their lives imprisoned and tortured in this place. Was it possible to live a decent life in here? If you've lived all your life in a prison, how would you know that you are a prisoner? Now I can enter this tunnel. strong. I wonder where it will take me. to ride, but it's over now. That ladder. Someone set up camp in here. Looks like a means of transportation to get to that sanctuary. seems to show two possible courses of action. One means transformation, and the other means... death? What is this? 
this, this... Oh my god. Did I almost forget about Harry? My dear old pal. It's only Cass and me now. I have much to thank her for, even if our friendship is worn thin due to hunger and fatigue. If she hadn't insisted so much, we'd never have convinced Teharoa. He guided us as we followed the river down from the mountain peak. And that's how we found this entrance. And the mural. Maybe I can't undo what's happening to you, Nora, but I think I can try to become like you. The original inhabitants of this island took slaves to a sanctuary. And there, they performed a ritual. Teaharoa said the ritual was madness, and he didn't want any part of it. He and Cass argued, violently. When we woke up the next morning, he had left. I know it sounds strange, but you have to trust me, my love. I know this is going to work, and we can be together. You understand what that means, don't you, Nora? I have... We have a second chance. With more love than ever, Harry. Harry? Wh what ritual are you talking about? Why on earth would you want to become... Somebody painted these symbols on the wall. You followed the river from the temple summit, and it took you some days to find this entrance. A sanctuary? Harry was... Oh dear, poor people. It's... So the guide left the expedition. This panel looks different from the others. It's much more elaborate. This must be my transportation to the sanctuary. sense. Nothing bad is going to happen to me here, as menacing as this place might look. The island, the ooze, those sea creatures, they're just defending themselves, like a wild animal against an unknown threat. That's how they perceived the expedition, like a threat. But I, on the other hand, I wasn't a threat, and I definitely wasn't unknown, was I?
Everything seems so distant now. As if I first stepped on that white beach thousands of years ago. A full moon? It can't be. Yesterday was... Yesterday was a new moon. Did I lose track of time or... Maybe this place isn't subject to the laws of physics. That's the only explanation I can find for this surreal night. It's hard to believe everything is real. Maybe it isn't. Maybe I'll open my eyes sometime and I'll be back in our home in Englewood and... Everything will be as before. My perfectly ordinary life with Harry. My daily routines. My illness. That will be as before too. And then I'll need to shake off this strange feeling that I have now. Feeling that I don't really belong there anymore. And with there, I don't mean Englewood. Boston, or Newburyport. I mean... <sighs> How is it possible that the strange events of only two days on this island makes more sense to me than the life that I've been living for years? So is this where you went, Harry? Was this your last stop? Oh my god. This syringe has traces of black ooze. Black ooze on a Petri dish. And the gun barrel is empty. There's a bullet hole in here. Trail of blood. Someone was hurt. A woman's earring stained with blood. My god, Harry, what did you do to her? Another camp. Although it's little more than a few. Harry, what is this? It looks like the ramblings of a madman. Heavens. This time. Was the blood of these creatures. A library? What are you talking about? This mural seems to describe a ritual involving blood. That dagger... Harry asleep in his tent. What a creepy photograph. Give it a try. Ouch! Oh! Ah. What was that? Looks like a tattoo, but it isn't. Those are my spots. They've moved. <laughs> hmm. 
These patterns look too familiar. Yeah, I really hope this works. If he's behind that door, I wonder which Harry I'll find. How much would be left of the man I love? And how much of the man who has lost his sanity in this place? Hmm, I wonder what this means. Constellations and stars. These people seem to worship otherworldly gods. They carried these people here to test them. Like a challenge of some sort. Where is this door leading me? A shining constellation. I better draw it. Pentagon-shaped symbol with channels in its edges. What was it? The stars are aligned, forming a constellation that I don't recognize. That is not the same sky you can see from Earth. And if that's not the Earth sky, where am I now? Circular stones with strange cups. These icons on the wheel are the same as the constellations I have on my hand. Took them to a, a throne room. That was the final step in the ritual. What an odd structure, riddled with nooks and crannies and endless stairways. Maybe it only hurts the first time. Ah! The second also hurts. When I arrived on this island, I felt like I was trespassing. But now, I feel like this is where I belong.
This place is like a labyrinth. We were submerged in Black Icor. Harry seems to be on the brink of madness. But I... I don't feel the slightest hint of confusion. On the contrary, I feel my mind is more focused than ever. Again? Seriously? Another one of those gates. I have to get into the water again. I can feel the torment of the thousands of slaves who perished here. One more time. Ow! That hurt! Again!
All the doors are open, but where is the constellation I need to open the throne room? the agony of the slaves, their suffering, and the effects of their transformation. It's horrifying. Black and white figures. Good doggies, or dragons, whatever you are. That's the creature I saw in my dreams. He's holding on to a gigantic black stone monolith. He is Father Dave.
Oh, come on. One more time. Ow! That hurt! Again. Circular stones with strange His icons on the wheel are the same as the constellations I have in my hand. What's that? A vision to another world? Or a vision of the future? Sanctuary is open. It's time to find out what's waiting for me inside. I hope to disturb a mirror. Is it made of black icor? I, I feel like it is. This beauty. Heavens! here appears to respect the most basic rules of physics. 
however as strange as it may be, it does maintain a peculiar harmony. Like the workings of a clock. wasn't going to work. That's... That's why you never sat on the throne. You didn't even perform the ritual, did you, Harry? But you wanted me to think that you had. You even left a lure to confuse me. But why? really happened. The only person with you in that sanctuary beach was Cassandra. So if you didn't die, it had to be her. Did she use the dagger to open the gates and carry out the ritual? You tried to stop her, but it was too late. She shot you with your own gun and left you for dead, didn't she, Harry? Because Cassandra was ambitious. He would stop at nothing to uncover the secrets here. The island fueled that hunger for knowledge. You had doubts about whether the ritual would work. But what happened to Cassandra cleared up those doubts. The ritual wasn't for people like you. The ritual was only for people like me. But you refused to believe it until the island itself spoke directly to you. Haha, Falgarfen. She is our daughter. That's when you finally understood. You understood what my fate would be if I didn't come here and carry out the ritual. A slow and painful death. So you faked your own demise and left your glasses near Cassandra's corpse. Those same glasses you never take off. And you sent me the package from Tahiti, Harry. Your picture, the key, the dagger. Another one of your scavenger hunts. And I took the bait. You made me come to this island. The same island where you almost lost your mind and your life. The same island where four members of your expedition perished. Why did you deceive me, Harry? You said you would never lie to me. Why didn't you tell me the truth? Why did you do this to me? Because you knew that I would never accept my fate if it meant leaving you. Right, my love? Not even if staying with you would mean a slow and painful death. So the only way to get me to leave you was to make me believe you were dead. And you chose to live a life without me, so I could be who I really am. That's why you tried to deceive me. But I know you too well, my dear old pal. We've had so many years together, so many moments of love, happiness, understanding, friendship. A whole beautiful life with you. I know what you tried to do, but I can't let you make this decision for me, Harry. Either I embrace my fate and accept what I've always been, and leave you behind. Or I reject it, and return home with you to relish the time that my illness gives us. It's my decision to make.
We had a really good life. But that's not my life anymore, is it, Harry? Not after what I've been through on this island. Not after all I've found out about myself. I can't fool myself anymore. I have to accept what I truly am. And leave you behind. I'm going back home. What a lovely melody. I don't believe I've ever heard more than a few notes. Until now. For years I thought I was sick. But the truth is... I was... homesick. My poor health. The pain. The suffering. It was all because of how far I was... from here. He just appeared out of the blue. Everything seems so far away now. No trace of pain, no trace of sickness. Nothing besides this place. It's so pleasant to forget everything else. Nothing matters anymore. I'm finally one of the thousands of minds connected to the i -Corps. Connected with the Elder God. Okay, are you ready? <laughs> yes, I'm ready. One, two, don't forget the harmony. One, two, three. All my life is empty since I went away. Even today, so many years later, I still doubt whether I did the right thing. I lied to you for the first and last time. And even if it was to free you from pain, suffering, and death, I deceived you. But I've paid such a high price for my deceit, Nora. Fate has punished me with a long and sorrowful life, with no other incentive than my work. Because that is 
The only thing I have now, my dear old pal.